Cheers. Mm. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. My name is Sam, and this is my channel, Broke Girl Investing. I am tracking my journey on this channel from going from being broke into a more uh, financially better position in life. So I wanted to discuss something that I came across the other yesterday um, about financial independence and, and the FIRE movement. So I came across it and I thought it was really, really interesting and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm just going to dive right in. It was somebody was talking about should single women pursue FIRE or just, you know, financial independence. And I was like, oh, I'm intrigued. So I started listening and this person was making some really good points and I want to share them with you guys. Um, I'm not saying that single women should not pursue fire and I'm not saying that they should pursue it. I'm not giving any advice over here. I just want to kind of go over what they were saying and let you guys hear it and hopefully hear y'all's input as well. Um, I wrote a little list here of what was said. I first want to start off by saying if a woman wants to pursue financial independence and she's going to be single while doing this, I, I, I would like to think that she should start as early as possible. And I'm talking like as soon as she gets out of college or whenever she starts her career making money, you know, I feel like she should she should start then, you know, setting up a plan, a budget. Um, in investment automating it and all that good stuff but this guy was arguing you know women who start you know maybe by 28 or something and they they work on trying to get financially independent in 28 and 29 and in their 30s and they're climbing a career ladder and they're making as much money as they possibly can and they wake up one morning and they're 40 years old and then they realize oh shoot i'm i've spent so much time and attention into making money and trying to reach fire that i haven't had any time to concentrate on starting a family now i don't know if men are going to really relate to this because you guys aren't women obviously and y'all aren't emotional creatures and y'all don't think the same way as women i mean men and women are very different you know mentally physically all that good stuff so you know this guy was saying you know is that when a woman wakes up at 40 42 years old and realizes oh my god i've been just sacrificing all this time working on fire and I haven't even focused on starting a family or finding a partner in life. And the guy was making a really valid point. He was interviewing some women. Well, he was interviewing women and every single woman on there was saying, you know, yeah, life would totally suck if I just did nothing but pursue a fire. And then I woke up one day and just realized, okay, I'm, I'm too late. I'm get, it's getting too late to have children because if nobody doesn't know, women only have so many eggs you know they can only have children up until a certain age so going back to yeah i think if a if a woman is going to stay single and they want to be financially independent they should definitely start as soon as possible as to not come up to the age of 40 41 42 43 and realize oh crap i put so much focus and emphasis on firing that I've got no time to find me a man and get me some babies. So that was one point he was arguing and it was it was really good. It was in my opinion it was good. Another point he was making and a lot of people might disagree on this one but I have to share it. He was saying that you know men and like I just said earlier, men and women are created differently. You know, women are the weaker of the two physically men are designed to be like the hunters and gatherers you know so they're the ones that are supposed to be like out there hustling and being the one who uh being the ones who are supposed to be the hard workers and the ones that are able to achieve more and he was saying that 
women are not supposed to, well, not, not supposed to, how do I say this? That women are, you know, supposed to be the nurturers and the ones that stay home and the, the, the ones that take care of the family and the home and the children. And I guess this is more in line if you're, if you're not single, you're married or you have a partner in life, but you are the one that is supposed to be at home because biologically women are better caregivers and nurturers. They're not biologically the ones that are the, the go-getters and the ones that are supposed to, you know, be out there and be the fighters. He was saying that's the men's job. So he was basically saying that uh, the men are the one who are supposed to you know, be out there achieving fire and, and supporting their families and taking care of their families and helping them get set up for financial independence. Now, I guess that's totally not single women -ified, but he was talking about that part and I, I had to add that in there. I just wanted to share those ideas with you guys. I think it's very interesting because a lot of people will disagree and you know, they'll say, oh men, or they'll say women, women are just like men we can do anything that men can do well yes i believe that to a degree um, i i believe that women can basically do anything they put their mind to with enough work and effort but you know at the end of the day women are designed differently mentally and physically and i'm wondering you know if those women out there who have pursued fire by themselves single you know have they ever felt like they're working and working and working have has it ever like felt wrong to them have has it ever felt like oh i should maybe be focusing on a family i mean i sit here and i i work on my budgets and you know i i take time to decide where my money's gonna go and i've always done that i've always been independent like that since my early 20s I mean I haven't always been good with my money but here recently when I'm breaking it down and I'm deciding you know where my money's going it's fun it's fun to invest it's fun to watch my money grow but I don't know as a woman I feel like I would rather be having a family and taking care of a family and a home and and my garden as cheesy as that sounds but you know it's it's interesting to me if you know if I was a man or if there's any men out there who who think you know if they're pursuing financial freedom does it feel right to them and their hearts does does it ever feel like would a man ever stop and say you know what I I would rather be raising kids and you know taking care of a house that's what I'd rather do I wonder if men ever think that or is it because there's biologically embedded in them, men are like, no, I have to support my family. I have to make things better for myself and those around me. I don't know, guys. I may just be rambling at this point, but these are my thoughts. And guys, tell me what you think. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with pursuing financial independence as a single person, a single female. And I'm not saying you should stop and just go have babies or find you a man. I'm not saying that. Um, I am saying that you should always take control of your finances and always try to do better with what you have. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. And uh, feel free to comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching and listening. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm going to go to bed now. It's late. So um, yeah. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.